Hey there guys. So today I'm going to be demonstrating how to do what I call crumbled paper abstract art. Here are some examples of what it looks like whenever it's done on the video. So essentially this is a pretty easy abstract drawing prompt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the sheet of paper, we're gonna crumble it up and we're gonna use the wrinkles to create lines and shapes and create a mosaic, almost looking abstract image. So what you're gonna need is a sheet of paper. If you have blank paper, that's gonna work the best. You can either get a sheet of printer paper like this, or you can tear out a page in your sketchbook if you have your sketchbook with you. Um, but a blank sheet of paper is going to work the best. And then you're also going to need markers. You have to use markers for this. You cannot just use colored pencils. I think most of you have markers at home. If you don't, let me know and I can get you some. Now it doesn't actually matter what kind of markers you have. You can just have these regular simple Crayola markers. They will work completely fine. I think that the Sharpies actually work the best, but I know not everybody has these Sharpies. So again, you can just use the regular washable markers. So I think the reason why I enjoy doing this particular exercise is because it's easy. Everybody from every art level can make it and they look really, really cool whenever they're done. And I just think that this particular prompt really kind of gives you that experience of creating abstract art where you're not really focused completely on what it looks like you are focused on what it looks like, but you are more so just doing it for the experience of making it, which a lot of abstract artists, that's their philosophy anyway. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So I'm gonna take the sheet of paper and just crumble it up into a ball. Squeeze it really good. And then we're gonna open it up and lay it flat on the table. Try and open it kind of carefully. You don't want to, and then we'll flatten it out nice and good. Okay, now something that I want to go ahead and let you know is you are not going to be able to outline every single little bitty crinkle here. The idea is just let the crinkles kind of give you a foundation for where your lines are going to start. Yeah, flattening out really good. Now the next thing that you are going to take is a black marker. Again, if you have a black Sharpie near you, they work the best, but if you don't, that's completely okay. You can use a black washable marker. It will work just as well. So let me go ahead and make sure that I have one that works. And honestly, the best place is just to honestly just pick anywhere. Pick the first shape that you can see and then you'll outline that shape. So the first shape that I was able to see honestly was this triangle right here. And then what you're gonna do is just go along with the fold and just outline all of these shapes. Now you may have to just kind of improvise certain areas and that's completely okay. The main thing is make sure that all of your shapes are touching and try to have a variety of different sizes. Now I will go ahead and tell you that I think the more shapes you have, the better it looks, but I don't want you to sit here and like kill yourself making, you know, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of shapes. All right, you guys, so I am going to go ahead and do the rest of this and I will come back and see you in a little bit. Alright, 
so here is my finished outline right now. So when you get done with it, it's gonna look a little bit like shattered glass, pretty wild looking. Here's an up close view, just so you guys can see that I did not do every single little crinkle. I just did as many as I could and just kind of honestly, just kind of went with the flow. I feel like once you start doing it, it'll be easy and you can just kind of finish it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to color it. So you do need to color this with markers. Colored pencils just will not show up as well. Um, I have done Sharpies in the past and they look great, but I'm actually going to just use some washable Crayola markers. You can do a color scheme or you can just do multicolor, have as many colors as you want. I typically like to stick with a color scheme, maybe three or four ish colors, but again, you do however many colors you want. And if you're doing a color scheme, I recommend picking one color and filling in as many shapes with that one color as you can. And then when you get done, switching over to another one. So I'm going to start coloring my shapes.